What's up everybody, Tom here, and today I'm bringing you another class setup, and today isn't going to be particularly about a weapon, but about the perks and what and stuff like that. But there is a weapon I'd recommend you use with this class, and that weapon will be probably in, if you couldn't tell already, it's most likely going to be in the title, or in the thumbnail, but it is the M8. Now, as you can see, I'm going to get straight to the perks first of all, which is 6 cents. Ghost, 6 cents nowhere, enemies have, they're not using hard word. Ghost, so, cause UAVs and stuff won't be able to detect you, and a lot of people use UAVs in this game, let's just say that. Hard word, well, to counteract many things in this game, such as track our 6 cents. And by counter react, I don't literally mean full on, it reduces the digital imprint of the tra enemy tracker. And 6 cents, there's literally no point in it even reducing that, because, yeah would be right beside them to actually be able to get to them and then tackle master so you don't get hit by concussions well you get hit by them but you don't get take the effect of a concussion flashbang or shot charges and dead signs so the enemies won't be able to hear you move now i did re i recently prestiged this gun you know because i felt the need to don't know why i just showed stuff why not but uh I did prestige this weapon because I wanted to make a pretty much, I just wanted to have that experience of getting things again in the game because you know on master stage I have everything unlocked, I don't really prestige many weapons so I wanted to actually feel that joy of actually unlocking something again, you know that sounds very weird, it sounds cringy if you want to say that, but yeah, I realised how good this gun was without attachments and when I actually got attachments I put on grip and quick draw suppressor I wouldn't really recommend because you know that really reduces the range but on an assault rifle you can use them at long range just like an SMG but yet again the M8 is probably one of the best in its class you know obviously you have the FFAR or the FAMIS or the FAR whatever you want to call it the Peacekeeper and the MX Grand and the Man of War and pretty much the AK-47 you may as well just call it that but I technically well I me personally, I'd say this one of the best weapons in its class, purely because it's, well, it's an M8 and it's full burst. It's very strong, it has a good fire rate. Let me actually check. Well, it's not the best, but it's very accurate as well, and it has good range on it. And that range also helps to get win battles over a distance, obviously. It can really easily one burst, so you don't really need, don't know why I've done that. You don't need FMJ, but if you want, you can put on high caliber to get rid of maybe grip, because I find quick draw probably a bit more important depending on what weapon you're using. And the gameplay that we're going to get into will not be live. It will be gameplay that I will be commentating over. And in the game, I don't have grip or quick draw. It's just a plain M8 with no attachments. So yeah, let's get into the gameplay. So as you see, starting off there with a kill, and yeah, I die. But yeah, as I said, the M8 is a very strong gun. It's probably one of the best in its class. You know, they're really trying to pick off another kill. There we go. It really doesn't need anything like hip. Well, hip fire is very good on it. There we go, picking off another one. He managed to get me. I was low on health, so I didn't have a secondary, as you've seen, in the class setup. There we go, another headshot picked off. It's very good on headshots as well, and I did use the war machine a good amount of times in this, even though I was using blackjack. But yeah, again, I got many others. He why he didn't try to get me there, I don't know. Yeah, I terribly missed things there. And yeah, I pretty much tried to chase him down. One thing I should say is you don't really need skill or anything to use this gun because it's just overall one of the best weapons in the game in my opinion. Your opinion may be different, you know, obviously there's other assault rifles or even just other submachine guns that, may, that you may find better than this. But this is personally one of my favourite weapons in the game and it's just so strong to use. You don't really need grip or anything on it, it's just put grip on it if you have only two slots and you only have two things to put on I'd recommend putting quick draw and grip on it and if you want to be sneaky if you're playing in a map you want to get a nuclear or something you know maybe put on a suppressor 
don't give a damn, I'll keep it real. Cause for now, I hope you know the drill. I would never lie, young forever, I ain't never gonna die. I told me go up and I went and showed them why. I can make it, I showed them the power in you. And I wasn't one of the best streaks in this. Obviously, I had a server, so I got that a few times. If I had a hater on, I probably would. I could have possibly have gotten a nuclear. I nearly got one earlier on today using this exact same weapon. I'm not, I did have uh, attachments on it, I believe it was. FMJ high caliber and rapid fire because you know speeding up this fire rate on this weapon is just lethal. It's OP. He thought he was gonna kill me there, but no, I slid. Just, you know, a little bit of hip fire, bang, one shot. Well, not one shot, but one burst. Bang annihilator there without the war machine instead because I personally think the war machine's better. I'm not sure if it's been buffed, but I did get the kill on him afterwards, which I was happy about. I won't be showing all the gameplay of this, just the majority of it, because I may use this gameplay again just to commentate over something else in case I don't have any other gameplay. But I do have a good bit of gameplay saved up and stored on my laptop that I could use. Along with some other gameplay that I have with the end. Well, I do have another game, two other. One with the, nu the nu nuclear, but I died 22, which was 8 off it. Which really screwed me when I looked at the scoreboard, it kind of choked, so that's the bad thing about that. One thing I must say about the M8 without a scope on it, it really does, doesn't matter if you have a scope on this, but if you want it, it really helps you put an iron sight or a reflex on it. Anything else I wouldn't really recommend putting on this gun because it doesn't really need it. Hitfire I must say was very good on this though because it just kept killing everybody no matter what distance I was away from them. It's just an overall very good gun and it can dominate many even close, medium and far range. And it's definitely a gun to check out. It doesn't, it has a pretty fast aim and down sight speed. And it's pretty much just a beast. I don't really know what else to say about the gun, it's just a beast. You see there, I try pick him off, but I do get the assist. And I might just cut it here because we've gone on for 7 minutes, 30 seconds this video will be going on for. So no, I don't want to bombard you with minutes of videos. But yeah, if you've enjoyed this video and you want to see more, I'd recommend trying out this class. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed. And there we go, you know. I did get that gameplay. Well, I did record it from theater, as you did see there. You know, I wish I could have edited that out, but I didn't. How professional of me. And there we go, thinking that was my care package. Once again, how unprofessional of me. But yeah, if you want to see more content in general, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video. Peace. So come Obviously. over tonight, ain't nobody home